Hi, sixth graders. We are on lesson 9-5, which is combinations. Our learning target is being able to find the number of combinations of a set of objects and then find probabilities. All right, so a combination, which is kind of similar to a permutation, but different, is an arrangement of objects in which order does not matter. So remember permutations, which is what we were just talking about, the order does matter. So combinations, the order does not matter. So make sure you write this down in your notebook. And then you are going to want to write this in your notebook and circle it. The number of permutations of the entire set divided by the number of permutations of the smaller set. Sounds confusing, right? All right, so if we look at in how many ways can a coach select five players from a team of 10 players? First of all, we take a permutation of 10 players taken five at a time. So if we think back to 9-4, and we don't even look at this bottom part right now. We're only looking at this top part. If we're taking five players from, if, we, if we're picking five players from 10 players, we would have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. Because remember, once you pick one player, then our total number of players keeps going down and we only go out five so one two three four five because those are our five players okay so this time we are just talking about picking five players no order at all just picking five players so um, not standing in a certain order, not in first, second, or third, or fourth, or fifth, just taking five players. Well, this permutation that we're taking, this 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, includes it being in a certain order. So we need to divide those orders. We need to get rid of the um, arrangements that have the orders in it. So basically what I'm saying is that if we have 10 players and we take number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then another way we happen to pick 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, well, these are actually the same because they have the same players. We're just looking for a group of five. If we were talking about the order in which we picked them, then these would be totally different and then we would keep them both. But we only want the groups of players that are picked and it doesn't matter what order. So even if we had two, one, three, four, and five, we would want to cancel that one out and we would want to cancel that one out because one, two, three, four, and five have already been accounted for in one of the ways that we made. Wholly confusing, right? All right, so we have our permutation, and then we need to divide by the number of ways to arrange the five players. So once we have the five, we're going to remember, we're going to take out the ones that have already been accounted for. This is how we do it. So then it's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. And we have 30,000. Oops. 240. Divided by 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 120 and we get 252 ways 
that a coach can pick five players. Now, if we didn't take out all of the combinations that have already been accounted for, but just rearranged in different orders, then we would have 30,240 different ways. But a combination, the order doesn't matter. So there's 252 different ways that we can just pick five players or five of the numbers. Let's look at a different one. In how many ways can three books be selected from a shelf of 25 books? So we have 25 books that we're picking from, and we want to pick three. There's no certain order, and we just want to grab three books. So we're going to start with our permutation. We have 25 books to start with. Once we pick one, oops, we only have 24 left. And then once we pick another one, we have 23 left. These are the three books that we picked. Book one, book two, and book three. But if we were to pick, again, one, two, and three, and then another order, this would include if we picked 2, 3, 1. This would also include if we picked 3, 2, 1, or 2, 1, 3, or all of that. So we need to cancel out those other orders because we only want that book 1, 2, and 3 in there once. So how many ways can the three books be arranged? So then we have 3 times 2 times 1. That's our, our other permutation. So a permutation out of the 25, picking three books, and then the permutation of our three books and the number of ways that they can be arranged. So we have 25 times 24 times 23 is 13,800 divided by 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. So 13,800 divided by 6 equals 2,300. So even if you are totally confused, I would pick a couple of these, so maybe this one and the next one, to write down in your notebook so you at least have some notes. And then um, in class tomorrow, when we go through problems that are similar to this, then it may click on a little bit better. But the more notes you take, the better, so that once it does click, because I know it will once we keep practicing these, um, once it clicks, then you have things to go back to. And how many ways can you choose two side dishes from 15 items? If you are feeling a little bit comfortable, or if you want to pause me and try it, and just see what you come up with, that would be awesome. Otherwise, it's totally fine if you don't feel comfortable yet. But um, we're picking two side dishes from 15 items. So we have our two dishes. So one dish from 15, and then we take one dish out. So we have 14 left. So 15 times 14, two tells us how many spots we go down on our permutation. So 15 times 14. And then, since we have two side dishes, we divide by the number of ways we can arrange it. So we have 15 times 14 is 210. And then we divide it by 2. So we have 105 different ways you can choose two side dishes from 15 items. How many ways can you choose to exercise three days of a week? So three days. So for my top permutation, I'm automatically going to know that I have three spots that I have to fill in. These are the three days that I'm going to choose out of the week. Okay, so 
since it's a week and a week has seven days, I can first choose one of the days of the week, so I have seven options. Then I have six. Then I have five. So those are the three days that I pick. If I pick Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, well, the bottom needs to cancel out then if I pick Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is the same as picking the other three in different orders. So then below I take my three days and I have to do a permutation to find out how many ways I can arrange those. So the three days that I have picked, three times two times one. So we have seven times six times five is 210. Three times two times one is six. So 210 divided by six equals 35 ways. All right, so the difference between a permutation and a combination can be very confusing. So if you have a race with six runners, how many ways can they finish first, second, and third? So in a permutation, the order matters. Let's write this up here. You don't need to write these down. I just want to see, I just want you to see the difference that two Questions can be worded based on if it's a permutation or a combination. So here we have six runners being awarded first, second, and third. Here we have a race with six runners. How many ways can three be chosen? So no order. We're just picking three runners out of the six. That's it. Okay, for this one, how many ways can six students be arranged in a lunch line? So we have, and just to refresh your memory, that would be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We have 6 students and we're arranging them in a line. Let's go back up to this one to re refresh your memory. We would have 6 times 5 times 4 because we have 1st, 2nd, 3rd. Here, we would have 6 times 5 times 4 over 3 times 2 times 1. How many ways can 6 students be chosen from a class of 20? So here in a permutation, we only have 6 students and we're arranging them in an order in a line. Here, we're picking six students from a class of 20 to go stand in our lunch line. We're not necessarily arranging them. We're just picking six students to go be our line holders of the class. So the way that we would write this out then would be 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16. Here's our six students. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have to cancel out our um, arrangements that have been duplicated. So we have six times five times four times three times two, times one. How many ways can four people sit in four chairs? So we have four chairs and we have four people. So four times three, times two, times one. Because, let's do a different color. Here's chair one, chair two, chair three, chair four. How many ways can four people be chosen to sit in a chair. So for this example, we are, and let's say that we have 10 people. So for this example, we are not 
picking the order that the, the people are going to sit in the chairs. We're just picking four people out of ten that are special enough to get to sit in a chair. So then it would be ten times nine times eight times seven. Here's our four chairs. Here's our four people. Here's our four people, but we're figuring out how many way, different ways can we arrange them because we want to cancel that out. So then we would, so we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, and then cancel out our four people in their arrangement, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. All right, so log into Naiku and take the 9-5 Naiku quiz. Make sure, make sure, make sure you have your math notebook with all of your notes for permutations and combinations and everything like that. You can always go back and look in your math book. You can always look online and look for other videos. Um, otherwise, have a super evening, and I will see you tomorrow.